good trial when you've been through this season. The glass game of the season was always going to be pretty pretty dramatic and that's what it turned out to be, but you can't fault the can't fault the fight and effort of the, the boys tonight to try to give these home fans something to something to go home with. Yeah. Uh obviously disappointed with the the outcome um, but incredibly proud of the group um, to keep grinding we played I think with incredible intent at the defensive end tonight uh, we found ways to get stops we mixed things up they competed like they, they played for each other they played for the fans like sold out crowd uh, these are the the fan base the members have been unbelievable all season and a credit to them for like I guess voting with their feet and they they come and keep showing up and supporting this team and and I think the team rewarded them tonight with an effort that they can be proud of um and collectively everyone who played and everyone who didn't play gave something to the group tonight which which is really really pleasing and a lot to learn from the season uh, and a lot for guys to take away from it and myself personally and the coaching staff to take away from it uh, but to finish that way like playing that way obviously the the outcome isn't what we set out to do uh, but we played the right way which is which is the most pleasing thing and it, and it could it could have gone the other way um, in our situation not being in the playoffs it could have gone the other way really quickly but uh, proud of the group to not let it go that way and, and play and compete for each other. when everything really could have completely fallen apart, but it shows a lot of character to, to you, your coaching staff and the playing group that ever since that game, I think you would be really proud of the way you, you've played and conducted yourselves. Yeah, um, I am. I am proud of the group, the way they've conducted themselves. There were moments throughout the season where they all could have gone their separate ways and we just mail it in the rest of the way, but it never happened. We kept finding a a way to reset and bring everyone back to together um, and back to playing the right way. Um, it wasn't easy at times for the coaching staff, for the individuals, for the group collectively, uh, particularly once the playoffs were, were out of question. Um, but to their credit, there's a lot of experienced professional guys in that locker room. There's a lot of talented young athletes in the locker room and I think everybody has learnt a lot from this year um, that is going to make everyone better in their professional careers. Um, there's a lot of resilience being shown to show up and keep competing every night the way we did. Um, you know, we go three and four in the last quarter of the season and we almost went four and three. So, yeah, re really proud of the group for not letting it go south-south. Um, and I think we can be happy with how we represented ourselves. For you this season and like I've said a couple of times you never expected to be sitting in this seat now that the season's finished how are you feeling uh I'm not sure yet is the honest answer it'll take some time to sink in I'm actually disappointed the season's done because we we have so much more to do with this group I feel like but we we found it too late um which is unfortunate a lot of that rests on me as as the coach um you know take time to reflect and assess the goals that I set personally and, and we set as a group and um, kind of unpack it all over the next couple of days as, as we move forward into the off-season. But um, for me, it's been a pleasure to, to coach um, the guys and, and, and lead in that way and um, really happy that they allowed me to do that as well. Um, like DJ and I talked a few times over the last six, seven weeks and um, the guys were very, very coachable, each and every one of them, which is, which is a pleasure. To, to be in that situation when you have good people to start with and, and I think we really had that in that locker room is we we always had good people who to, were willing to be coached and, and kept being professionals so um, yeah look I'll take some time to reflect and obviously the club is going through a process right now and in terms of a head coach search and um, if, I, if I have the opportunity to continue in the role unbelievable I would love to take on the challenge um, if the club decides to go in a different direction um, and that's what's best for the club then, then that's it um, and I'd still like to be a part of this organisation moving forward, um, whatever role the, the club can, can find um, or I can provide value in. You probably just answered this, so you can ignore this question if you like, but whether or not you end up being appointed a coach or not, has this experience taught you that you want to be a, a head coach? Is, is that what you've learned over the last couple of months? 
Yeah, for sure. Um, I always had the aspirations to be a head coach. I mean, you, you don't get into coaching to, to be an assistant for your entire life. I, I think um, the the way that it happened and the timeline that it happened within wasn't certainly how I envisaged it happening um, and have learnt a lot along the way, uh, which is only going to make me a better individual, uh, a better person and a better coach moving forward. Um, I've learnt a lot about leading a group of, of very talented athletes who are all very, very intelligent in their own right um, and learnt a lot about myself and, and how I coach and, and manage each individual and manage the group collectively so for me that the experience has been invaluable um, I would love to continue in it um, and have that opportunity uh, but I guess I didn't I didn't take any day for granted which I can I can definitely look back and say you know every, every day we came to work and we came to get better and we kept grinding away at that which which I'm proud of. I'm going to predict how your first NBL season was going to go. I don't think you could have imagined everything that you ended up going through, but you've you've held, held up really well and, and, and done, done a lot of good things yourself. I mean, when you reflect on it now that the season's done, how do you feel about your first season in the league? I haven't reflected on it too much just because it just ended, but uh, uh, I think it was good. Um, I think uh, I think I started to make a name for myself. Uh, Playing with these guys was really easy. Uh, being a young guy, they helped me uh, mold into the team pretty well and just be be able to do the things that I've done this year. Uh, it's all it's all thankful for to my coaches and my teammates. Uh, it was a lot of information thrown at me one time or another, and I had to just, just process it, but the guys made it easier by just reminding me every day. I know it probably got annoying, guys reminding me every day, but towards the end, I think I started to really figure it out, especially on the defensive end. I was struggled a lot early on, but I think I started to really figure it out. And then offensively is just, uh, it's a natural thing, but just trying to find out where are my niches. Uh, that's just the biggest thing, but uh, I'm excited moving forward to continue playing in the NBL or with Brisbane, hopefully. Uh, we'll see how everything pans out. numbers are, are unbelievable but like you said your defense improved as the season went on and and you got better in so many many areas and it was, like you said it was a learning curve the whole season um how much confidence do you now have after this season what you can do moving forward um i'm never short on confidence you could ask dandy <laughs> but uh <laughs> definitely not i issue. just gotta it's just being able to pick and choose where like I got to be aggressive in moments and stuff like that. That's I think that's the next step for me is just learning where to attack and where to just be be able to be there for my teammates. Uh, but that'll all come. I, I'm going to be in the gym. And I think like I'll probably just jump in in terms of talking on DJ, like the growth he's shown across these last six, seven weeks has been remarkable. And it's a credit to him for stay in the course like things didn't always go his way um, but each time like we we're able to to break things down and and him and I talk or he talks with PC or Pero and there's always a positive response so that like the growth is a credit to DJ and and his want and desire to be a really really good basketball player like obviously he's talented offensively and, and he knows where he's at defensively but that's where the growth has come like his decision making on both sides of the ball like his versatility defensively can be a real asset in this league so um, a credit to him for having a really really good rookie year in the NBL um, and there's I think we've only just scratched the surface of the player that he can be at a really really talented position in this league <laughs> no, absolutely um, just the last one from me Greg um, it obviously hasn't been a season that anyone hoped for but how, how, whether you're a part of it or not, or what your role is moving forward, how confident are you that things are in a, in a good position heading forward after what we've seen for most of the second half of the season? You, you look at the the connection with the community and the crowds have been fantastic, so you know you've got the support of Brisbane. Do you feel like the club is in a in a good place moving forward despite how this season, I, I guess, has turned out record-wise? Um, yeah, if you look, look at the success of what has happened just like take basketball out of it look at the success of 
the the crowds, the membership, the corporate partnerships, like everything that's been going on around the organization, like it's in a really good position moving forward, which is exciting. Uh, we've got two key pieces with Sobes and Baines returning uh, to build a roster around. So in short, yeah, I think the club's in a, in a, in a good spot. Um, you know, there's going to be some challenges ahead with free agency, and there's no doubt about that. Uh, but if we can retain some key pieces and um, add the right talent and, and people to that, then what the, I guess the base that we've built in the second half of this year in terms of how we've played um, over these last seven games or so, there's something to build upon. Um, and coming into pre-season in July, August and a, and a long off-season, um, you know, we, can, we, we can be a much, much better basketball team next year given the platform that we can springboard on from this. They changed that uh, rookie of the year to next gen. Uh, my birthday is before April. You guys snubbed me. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you. Well, 